guys, welcome back to my channel. So sorry that that thing always jiggles like that. Um, today I'm making a whole ton of bath bombs, but I'm not going to bore you with all of them. We are really crooked here, huh? Why are we so crooked? I'm sorry guys, I thought I had the camera straight. Anyway, but I'm not going to bore you with all of them. Usually I've, I've been fast forwarding through this and just call it my bath bomb day, but I figured I'd bring you along for at least one of them. And so... Pearberry is one of them that I am making today. Okay, so I have everything all pre-measured. Um, I'm just going to pour this in here. It's all my powders. And we're going to add our liquids. So I use always use avocado oil. It's my favorite for bath bombs. We're gonna add our Holly 80. You can't see that anymore because it's totally gone because I buy a huge bottle and I just keep refilling this one. So, you know. But, at any rate, my water, which I did get out. Uh, oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. You know I do everything in grams. Okay. And my fragrance oil. Okay. And these are just the little balls that we're making today. Ooh, I am making quite a mess. Dripping pearberry everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Which is why I keep this handy dandy sanitized little washcloth nearby all the time now. Because I'm such a mess. Okay. I'm going to get this mixing. I might fast forward through this for you guys because it's so loud. But I don't know how my sister guys have measured out too, so I'm going to fast forward through this. You don't have to hear all that noise. Okay, guys, welcome back. Gotta do a little bit of hand mixing here to get, get all this off. So many bath bombs to make. So many bath bombs to make in so little time, huh? So how's everybody's uh I don't know what you call this. Fall. It's not really fall, it's snowing everywhere. But it's not really winter. So how's your month going? <laughs> the uh, Black Friday rush is over. That's good. I mean, we still have the Christmas crunch coming up, but so far, so good. We've been able to handle it. Last year this time, it was my husband and my daughter doing it all by themselves because I was a hot mess in the hospital. So, I'm glad I'm home and not in the hospital. And I'm glad I can help them this year. Okay. So, they actually didn't sell much last year because, you know, it was cray cray with me being in the hospital and what have you. Okay. I've got to make a whole bunch of uh, kids' bath bombs too, you know, with uh, toys inside. My, um, my daughter in law's nephew. He's just little. 
and last time she went to Florida, I don't remember when it was, but she took some of my toy bath bombs with her for him. And he loved it so much. And so he kept asking for them, so they went to the store and bought him a regular bath bomb. And he's and he was like, no. Where's the toy? <laughs> so cute. Kids are so cute. So anyway, they're going for Christmas this year. So I have got to get those made for him. And he has a little sister now too. I don't know if she takes baths like that yet. I want to say she's a year old, but I think she might be too. remember it's good to get him hooked young right <laughs> I kid I kid I kid okay so yeah I let my bath bombs dry not completely because we live in Vegas and if I leave these in the bottom too long they won't come out. So, but I, let, I leave them there for, you know, 20 minutes or so in the bottoms. And then I take them out and life is good. Okay. I've kind of missed talking to you guys on the video. He's been so busy. I've just been making, you know, the fast forward videos. Because nobody wants to see me all stressed out. <laughs> Trying to get orders done. And yelling at my kids and everybody, hurry, hurry, hurry. But tonight I'm going to slow it down and do a couple of videos for you guys. That I actually talked to you in. Right, because because we become quite the YouTube family. And I really like my YouTube family, and I thank you guys so much, so so much for watching, and commenting, and subscribing. It just means so much to me. I'm always shocked, truly shocked, by how many of you guys. Not just subscribe and comment, but I actually really care. And um, always ask me questions about how I'm doing. And I think it's really awesome. We have a good community here. A community I really, really love. So, I didn't want to fast forward through yet another video for you guys. I haven't even been able to do my soap videos. I mean, you guys are still seeing the Christmas ones, but um, the extras, I haven't been able to make a YouTube video for a while for soap. I've just been cranking them out. When I get in that real work mode of, I gotta get these done, I gotta get this much done. I, I don't film because, you know, you have to talk to the camera and not that I mind it, I actually love it. But when you're crazy busy and you gotta get, you know, tons and tons of orders done, I had a wholesale orders. And they were all soaps you guys are seeing anyway. This remakes. So I didn't film any of those. But I do have a couple extras coming out. I mean, a couple of new soaps coming out. Here soon that I will film. I think this is my last one, right? One, two. Yeah, this makes, this recipe makes seven of the big balls and then a 
mooncake or two. It always depends on how you pack it. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, you pack it different every single time, and so you have a guess of how many it'll make, but you could be off because even the same person doing it packs it different every time. Every bath bomb different. Anyway, these are my pearberry, and they smell fantastic. Like really, really yummy. Yeah. It's going to spray this with alcohol. I have to get out my glitter. Oh, I need to fill up my alcohol container. <laughs> right. I gotta get my glitter for the moon cake. Because for some reason, this is how I get them to come out of the mooncakes. I love the mooncakes, don't get me wrong, I do. I love them. But if I don't put glitter in, I don't get the imprint of the top of it. And I know other people can. But I just, I don't know. Glitter is my secret to getting them out. Which is why all my shower steamers are so glittery. Because I use the mooncake to make my shower steamers. See, and with the glitter, every time it just comes out. Ah, why? I'm not in nowhere that way. Yeah, I belong to a mooncake group, and they say, oh, your mix is too dry. And, or, your mix is too wet, or, <laughs> make up your mind, is it too dry or too wet? <laughs> pack it in tighter, okay, so I pack it in tighter. You packed it too tight, <laughs> so, glitter. Works for me almost every time, like, literally. Okay, this one's a baby. It's gonna be mine. Oops, get off there. And we're coming to a close of this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, leave me a comment. And for all my all my tried and true regulars, thank you so much for always tuning in and encouraging me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day.